What is prohibition and what was the purpose of the 18th Amendment? Prohibition was when it was against the law to sell, manufacture, and transport alcohol. The purpose of the 18th Amendment was to try and end drinking without fully banning being able to drink alcohol. What problems did people see in society at the turn of the century? Like today, there were many diseases like cancer. Also, they saw that some people weren't working as hard in their jobs from drinking, and after work, they would go and spend all their money on alcohol and not have any left for their families, food, clothes. Also, studies showed that parents who drank alcohol led to their children not being cared for properly, and last there were many crimes back then, and the government, government thought they had to do with alcohol. Why did people think prohibition would solve these problems? They thought that alcohol was contributing to having cancer, so the government thought that if they banned um, alcohol, then the numbers of cancer would decrease. Next, the government thought that alcohol was a big part of why there were so many crimes being committed, so they thought if they banned it, that the numbers of crimes would be reduced. Many people would go after work and spend all their money on alcohol, and since males were the only ones that could work, um, if they spend it all on alcohol, there would no, there would be no way to get extra money, and then there would be no money for their fo for food, families, or anything. So the government thought that if they banned alcohol, it would solve this problem. What strategies and evidence did temperance advocates use to get people to support prohibition? The evidence that they gave was that if you would get diseases if you drank alcohol. They said that you can get many different types of cancers and tumors, and your life would be shorter. Also, they showed surveys from scientists that showed some birth defects because of having parents who drink. Do you find their arguments convincing? Why or why not? I do not find these arguments convincing, and I don't think that people found these arguments very convincing. Just like today, smokers know what they're getting themselves into when they smoke. They know that there are many risks and will most likely get cancer, but they still do it. Also today, pregnant women know that they shouldn't drink while they're pregnant, but if they really want to do it, that's not going to stop, stop them. Basically, if someone really wants to do something, they're probably going to do it and continue doing it no matter what. Go back into the Go Formative and look at Document B. Why do you think the author of Document B singles out immigrants? I think the author of Document B singles out immigrants because they need to find a way to support their family. In the document, it says they have gone into the preparation and thoughtlessness of selling poison for profit. When you move into a completely different country, you don't have that much money, so they are going to do whatever it takes to support their family, even if it means breaking the law. Also, they can bring in the alcohol from their homeland, since it was only illegal in the United States to bring it and sell it here.